Hello and welcome. This is Bhavik from Team Longshot AI. And if you've just joined Longshot, this quick walkthrough video will help you get started right away. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, when you sign into your Longshot app dashboard, this is the first thing you see. So on the top, you have your name and a nice welcome message. So the first option is getting started, which is a video to help you get started. And then there's this bootcamp, which will redirect you to a page where you can find all the videos for different features, different purposes. You can watch those videos to learn different features. Now, the next thing is the content recipes. You can uh, click on the recipes and you'll be redirected to a page where you can find all the content recipes suggested by Longshot. Going further down, you have the favorite templates. We'll explore this in a moment, how you can favorite your templates. Then you have the current streak in days, which is basically the number of days you are actively logging in. So this is my second day in a row that I've logged in. And uh, then you have the analytics section. Uh, this is just a brief overview. You can always click on view more to get a more detailed view. Uh, then there's an option to join the Facebook group, our exclusive Facebook group. And uh, if you've used Longshot for some time, you can even uh, drop some reviews and help us uh, with your feedback. So going back at the top, let me look at the left hand side panel. If I expand the panel, let's see right from the top, you have your projects. And uh, when I click on a project, you can manage your project very easily. You can add new projects. So this is the one project. Maybe if you want to write about something particularly, you can create different projects for different content types or however you want to go with that. And again, when you click on dashboard, you'll arrive on this page. Uh, then there's these recipes, which will open up this help desk menu. And uh, you can click on uh, long shot content recipes and you can see all these recipes right from your dashboard. So you can use them while creating content. Uh, we are constantly updating our recipes so you can generate different types of content. So as you can see, we have uh, different content types and as I said, we'll keep on adding more with time. Then uh, going further down, we have the blog. This is uh, the main thing. So you can either create a new blog through uh, the blog wizard setup, which is basically when you click over here, you'll have to go through the five step. First, you research about your t uh, main topic, your main keyword. Then you generate headlines. You help the AI generate headlines and uh, the outline for your blog. Then you select a relevant niche and you finally end up on your editor. In case you don't want to go through that, you can uh, jump right away to the editor. Uh, there's not much difference except that uh, you won't be able to research, generate headlines, outlines, uh, but you can do that right over here. We have different features available. Uh, so yeah, you can select your niche. Uh, you can do your research over here as well. Uh, and uh, of course, when you start writing, you can use these features. These are the features which are available inside the blog editor. But if you want to use uh, other features, there are these standalone features. You can, uh, of course, you can use them. Uh, you want to generate headlines, you can uh, write over here and select a style maybe. And uh, let's say, let me generate a CTA style headline. And uh, let's say you can uh, post this headline. So yeah, what you can do is you can get this headline sorted. Uh, and uh, here you are. So you can keep generating content, you can use different standalone features. Uh, and uh, keep generating content. So going back to the dashboard, uh, let's look at the templates. Templates are basically the standalone features which are available to you. At the moment, there are around 20, 25 uh, standalone features and uh, similar number of features inside the long shot editor. Um, so what you can do is you can uh, click over here and use the features. Yeah, so as you can see over here, uh, another way you can do that, again, going back there, you can uh, mark these templates as your favorite. So what will happen is once you mark these templates, uh, you can go to your dashboard and here, here they are. You can see all your favorite templates. You can see all of these templates. And you can see that these templates are marked favorite. So going back to the dashboard, the next thing you see are the integrations. 
at the moment we have the SEMrush integration uh, you can uh, check out the video uh, in the card above uh, which will give you a good overview of how you can get started with the SEMrush integration and then going a little down you have this section over here this is the account section you click on the name uh, you can log out or you can enter your account settings here's your account settings here's a profile uh, you can see the email you can update the email you can log out if you want and here's the plan details you want to look at manage subscription you can change plan manage your existing account update payment method or even cancel your subscription the next thing is the analytics you can uh, look at all the analytics in detail for blog wizard and for standalone features and uh, then there's the plugins uh, these are the plugins available to you you can uh, download these plugins and uh, authenticate them right from your dashboard uh, you can uh, find the videos i'll uh, add them in the description you can check those out then there's the integration which was a similar as the same rush integration and uh, finally we have the team team settings so over here you can see the credits used is a team id then the team plan and the members in the team so you can update the seats you can add up to 10 members or uh, if you want to uh, add your members you can add your members by adding them over here or uh, sharing with them the team link uh, it's a pretty simple process and uh, this is pretty much about your account settings going back to the dashboard <clears throat> you can see the toggle button over here and it's pretty easy to use uh, if I hover over here, you can see that the left toggle is basically for private content and the right. At the moment, we have the private mode on. If I click on it, you can see that the team mode is enabled. So if you notice one thing, in the private mode, you have a different project and in the team mode, you have a different project. So when you join in your uh, team mode, join into your team mode, you enable the team mode. Uh, the projects in your private mode are exclusive to you and cannot be accessed by any team member. Whereas in the team mode, you can uh, collaborate together in, on, in real time and work on different projects. So uh, any of your team members can access the different documents, the different folders, basically for easy accessibility and contribute and uh, collaborate on different tasks. Below that, you have the product roadmap. You can uh, look at what Longshore is working at, what are the things which are in works, and what are the things which are going to come in future then there's a what's new which is basically the announcements you can uh, look at and uh, that is pretty much it about the walkthrough i think this is more than enough to help you get started so explore the different features and uh, look out for different videos if you want help for a particular section maybe for a blog or maybe for templates you can check out the respective videos i hope you enjoyed watching this video. Till next time, this is Bhavik. Take care and stay safe.